Okay, welcome in, welcome back. We're in the car today, we're going to Charlotte, we're going to Julia's. Today's another Julia's and Birdhouse vlog. We're just gonna go book shopping, okay? That's all we're doing. Today's one of my only like free days and it wasn't even that free. I had to do a 5K this morning, which was a huge bust. I didn't even get a medal. Why am I doing a 5K if I don't even get a medal? Anyways, we're trying out the hat again. I still hate it. In case you're wondering, still hate the hat. This is only my second time being at Julia since they've reopened, so I'm hoping that like more books have come in. And it's a Saturday, and I don't usually go on Saturday, so I don't know like how how good the selection's gonna be. I'm also like kind of running late, so I don't really have time to just like hang out or like go to a Goodwill to look at books. So we're gonna just go find what we find at Julia's. If you're new here, Julia's is a discount bookstore and the books are super cheap. They have like perfect condition, perfect condition looking books. Oh my God, this lighting. Look at my eyes. Hopefully they're staring into your soul. Now I can't see. <laughs> I've blinded myself to do that. Anyways, the books are like $4 each for paperbacks and hardbacks are like six bucks. Amazing discount, but the money can rack up pretty quickly. So I try to keep myself to the limit of three because they do three for 15 hardbacks. And then they do three for 12, I think. It's been a while, I don't really know. And then we're gonna go to Birdhouse, like I said, in Kernersville. I'm gonna try not to like buy a whole bunch of like full price books because I don't really need to. There's only a couple that I've been wanting. Like I really want a hard copy of Serpent on the Wings at Night, Phantasma, those like kind of newer books that are on my TBR this month anyway but she also has a section for used books and they were a dollar last time so if they're a dollar this time there's a good chance I'm gonna get quite a few books we'll see where the day takes us I changed my coffee recipe unreal hold on let me make sure I'm not gonna get hit ah god nothing's going well again I feel like I've been in a YouTube funk everything I do I hate so I <laughs> just whatever my coffee recipe i have an espresso machine so it's just espresso and then that's that me espresso with almond milk but in the espresso cup i put in white chocolate like tarani syrup with pumpkin white chocolate tarani sauce like the chocolate sauce in those fancy bottles and then i put a pump of pumpkin syrup just one pump because the sauce and the syrup is a lot. That's a lot. So I don't I do not do like too much. And then I put in pumpkin creamer with almond milk and it's so good. I do have an audiobook to listen to this time. So I'm listening to the Pumpkin Spice Cafe. I brought it with me and I also am going to listen to it on the way there, okay? Because I'm not feeling my music. I go through such moods with either audiobooks, podcasts, or music. And right now the music is not hitting like it usually does. So we're gonna listen to a book. I have yet to read a book all month. It is, we are creeping up on the 12th. I need to get it going. So we're gonna listen to the Pumpkin Spice Cafe and I will see y'all probably at Julia's. to start realizing that I can't come here on the weekends. There's too many people and people just annoy me. Like I, I realized about myself, I want the entire place to myself. That's not fair or make sense at all. Every time someone came into my aisle, I was like, ah! <laughs> I just got so annoyed. But whatever, I found some good ones though. I'm gonna save the best for last, but I got three books and a game. So the game is 
Harry Potter scene in. I have a couple Harry Potter scene in, but this is the complete cinematic journey for $4. How fun. And then I got Clockwork Angel 175, which is the first book. Yeah, this is the first book of the Infernal Devices. I don't know anything about it other than it's a Cassandra Clare. Cassandra Clare? Whatever. And then I got Call Me By Your Name. I've been wanting to see the movie for a really long time. This was one of those books I just refused to buy full price. I just wasn't gonna buy it. And then the star of the show. I have not moved my arm so fast when I saw a book before. Maybe when I saw Akatar here. I read this book already, but I don't have the physical copy because I read it before we used it in like a gift exchange. So I lost the book in the gift exchange, but I knew I was going to, so I read it beforehand. And I refused to buy this for the full price because it's still a nice new book. So I just did not want to buy it full price for no reason when I've read it you know and I was like this is too big of a book for me to see at Julia's like I'm not gonna see it especially right now it's like still pretty popular right now um it was at Julia's it was here so I'm thanking myself for not buying this full price are you ready who's excited icebreaker oh my god i'm so excited oh this is one of my favorite i rated this like a 4.75 when i read it freaking love it i have and i've read wildfire and i have daydream i just haven't read it yet so i'm so excited to have all three i was so pissed because icebreaker is the one that i loved and i didn't even freaking have it and i have wildfire and i don't even like it that much but i'm happy i'm good with my purchases it was like 14 dollars total i think i fear she charged me full price and by full price i mean the four dollars for the clockwork angel one but it's okay i did not get a coffee because I couldn't justify more money being spent. And the air, by the way, is still broken in my car and I'm starting to sweat. So I need to A, take my shirt off, take my jacket off, but I don't have a shirt on and B, roll down my window like pronto. So I need to get on the road. I'm not super hungry yet, but I'm going to be before I get to Birdhouse, I know. So I'm going to stop for food and then we're going to go and get on our way to Birdhouse Books in Kernersville, which is like an hour and a half from here. So I'll be there at like three. I'll see you there. Actually, I forgot I wanted to update on Pumpkin Spice Cafe. So I've been listening to audiobook and I got to one. 127. I'm actually really liking it. Like I knew I was going to, but I kind of expected it to be like the XX where it was like cutie, but also kind of stupid. But this doesn't like nothing major has happened. If you don't know anything about the Pumpkin Spice Cafe, she takes over her, I think, aunt's cafe. It's supposed to open like this weekend and she's been hearing like this weird scratching and like she thinks the cafe is haunted and she meets Logan, who is our like farmer. He like handles all the produce there. So he comes in super hot, obviously, and they just like spark up a friendship and he ends up helping her try to figure out what this like scratching sound is. They do like an overnight stakeout and so they like both clearly are kind of into the, each other and that's kind of where I'm at. That's it. So I'm enjoying it though. They're very cute and Logan's sweetie. I have a feeling I'll be able to finish this on audiobook before the end of the day which that was supposed to be in the readathon so the Cinnamon Bun bookstore will be in the readathon. Okay, I just got here. It has grown to 78 degrees. I'm a little hot, little hot. I thought it was gonna stay like a cool 60 something, which is why I didn't bring another shirt. So my jacket has to go back on. <laughs> oh, can't wait. So Kernersville is like a small little town. It's like literally fucking Stars Hollow. I haven't explored it at all, so I don't know what else there is, but there's a car show happening like right in front of the bookstore. Like the roads are shut down and everything. And I'm listening to the Pumpkin Spice Cafe where they're having their like fall festival. I just, I feel like I'm in the book right now. Every time I come here, I feel like I'm the two times that I've come here. I just feel like I'm in a book. Oh, that felt really nice. Oh my God. I am pretty far. I only have this much left. So I'll definitely finish on the way home. And then I'll have to figure out what to listen to after I finish. Cause there's only like probably 30 minutes left, but I have to pee. Gotta get my jacket back on and then go in. I'm so tired. Thinking about tomorrow. Ooh, I'm so excited. I'm just gonna chill out. Oh wait, I'm supposed to go to the fair. I was just gonna chill out and read in my bed all day. I have new cider to try. I was just gonna chill out. I'll chill out after the fair. I'm gonna go inside. <laughs>
gameplay. Do you wanna wave? Huh? We ended up hanging out a lot longer. I had a lot more wine, a couple more espresso martinis, and I had to spend the night. So, ooh. So I'm now on the way to Columbia. I'm about to leave to go back. And I have quite the haul for you. Quite the haul. Look at me. Look at, literally look at me right now. Oh my god, this is so scary. I'm gonna give you a haul, I think. No, maybe I'll do it. No. No. I can't give you a haul looking like this. I'll have to do it later when I get home because I can't look at myself anymore. So I'll see you when I get to Columbia. I wish you knew how long I've been putting this off. I got back, what, Sunday morning? Sunday morning. And it's now... Wednesday. All I have to do, literally all I had to do was give you a haul. And I just never wanted to do it. <laughs> That's all I had to do was a little haul. <sighs> These books have been glaring at me from the foot of my bed all week. All right, it's finally time. I'm gonna show you what I freaking got. Jeez. So these are Julia's, which I already showed you the three books from Julia's. I'll just put them in here in case you forgot from two minutes ago. And then everything from Birdhouse Books. I'm gonna try to remember the prices that I paid for everything, but you know. Okay, first she gave me a gift. So some of these are gifted, but it's a cute little s'mores candle. I don't know if you can see that, but it's s'mores. It smells like s'mores. I'm scared to light it because it's gonna mess it up, but like I have to light it. That's the whole purpose of a candle is to light it. I think these were all gifted, but Five Brothers by Penelope Douglas. This is their, I don't know if it's the new cover or the old cover, like the original cover, but I don't like, I'll show you this cover, which is like mostly seen everywhere. I do not like that cover. So phenomenal that I now have this cover because I do like Penelope Douglas's books, but it's cool. I like this cover a lot more. Okay, next, obsessed with these two covers. The Wallflower by Sally Louise. Never heard of it, but look at the cover. Adorable. It's like the cover of, I don't know, like The Housemaid. It's like the cover of those like indie published books, you know? Is, does that make any sense? Where they're like a little thicker and a cooler feel? I don't know anything about it. And there's not a summary on the back, so... I'll find out eventually. Okay, this one, Christmas in Coconut Creek. I remember I actually downloaded this on my Kindle last year because I saw an excerpt on TikTok about it and that convinced me to read it. Okay, this one, Ophelia. She wants to go with her college roommate, I guess, instead of her divorced family Christmas. So she and her college roommate go on a trip and she meets someone on the plane, basically. <laughs> okay, Call It What You Want by Alyssa Derogatis. Derogat Derogatis? Don't know. Sorry, Alyssa. So it's basically, it's her senior year of uh, college and she falls for this guy who's emotionally not ready. So that's gonna hurt for sure. On the front it says, an important read for any woman who has ever thought I can be enough to change him. That'll hurt. Last in here, I believe I got this off of her used book shelf for a dollar. But it's the second book of the Infernal Devices, which I just got the first book from Julia, so it was perfect timing. She also had the third one, but it was on hardback, and I don't think I wanted that one. She had a lot of the um, Cassandra Clare books, so I guess someone got rid of all of their Cassandra Clare books. The Julia's one's a little busted up. I don't know if it's love that she was shown, but she was definitely shown something. I have Clockwork Angel, book one, and then Clockwork Prince, book two, and then this was book three of City, City of Glass of the Mortal Instruments, which I had book one and two from Julia's, but this one was from Birdhouse for three dollars. And then The Inheritance Games for a dollar from Birdhouse. Perfect condition. Chevy Stevens Never Let You Go for a dollar from Birdhouse. I don't have any other Chevy Stevens, but I read Chevy Stevens Still Missing, and I really, really liked that. I had that on my Kindle, and that was such a good book. I don't know what this is about. Along with the City of Bones stuff, I don't know what any of those are about because I'm going to those blind, so don't ask me. Okay, so this basically, a woman is married and has a kid with this dude, and he ends up going to jail because he's abusive. And then like years later, I think it was 10 years later. Okay, it doesn't say, but the daughter's a teenager. She has a business and a new boyfriend. The guy's released from prison and all of a sudden she's being threatened. Her boyfriend's being threatened that she feels like she's being stalked and she thinks it's the husband, even though he claims he's a new person. So I'm sure it's not the husband, but cool. Oh my god, I was so excited about this. So Stephen King, The Outsider, for a dollar. One single dollar for this book. Perfect, well, almost perfect condition. There's a little bit of rips. 
but ever since Caitlin read it, I've been wanting to read it. Stephen King is on my on my TBR for the end of the year to read at least one Stephen King book. So maybe it'll be that one. I don't know what it's about. Hold on. Okay, an 11 year old boy was found murdered, brutally murdered in a local park. It kind of seems like they arrested someone who it very obviously seems like he did it, but then more things come out and now they're not sure. Kind of what I got from that. Okay, and then I showed you, I got Icebreaker at Julia's. Amazing, stunning, love it. Love to see it. If you haven't read Icebreaker yet, you need to. It's so good. Four dollar. I might own this. I don't care for a dollar. One of my favorite Abby Jimenez books. Life's too short. Love it. Obsessed with it. You need to read it. Okay, and last but not least, where was this? I don't remember if I showed you this from Julia's or not. I think it was Julia's, but... Call Me By Your Name. You may already know that if that was a joyous book. It's been so long, I don't remember. But I would like to read this so I can see the movie. But that's it. Um, let me count the total. Hold on. I got 13 books for $18. That's crazy. So huge thank you to Jordan at Birdhouse Books because majority of this would not be possible without her. And if you ever are in Charlotte or near Kernersville, go check out Birdhouse Books. I just found a cat whisker. Oh my God, my back. Oh my God. <laughs> it's hurting so badly right now just from doing this. I'm being super dramatic, but I'm in a lot of pain. But uh, there's a cat whisker. It's probably Stinky's. Let me get these all situated. Do I have to find spots for all of these now on my bookshelf? This is an insane amount of books, but I'm so eternally grateful to Jordan. Also update, I started Pucking Sweet. I don't know if I've told y'all this, absolutely obsessed with it. I wasn't sure how I was gonna feel about Poppy. If you don't know it, I'm not gonna explain it because you need to, you just, it's the third book in a series. So I'm, I'm, I don't wanna go too far into it if you don't even know, but an incredible series, one of my favorites. I wasn't sure if you do know how I was gonna feel about Poppy. Poppy and Novi and Morrow because I didn't really have a connection with any of them and Poppy seemed kind of annoying and we just like didn't see that much of the, the boys in the other books. So I wasn't quite sure how I'd feel, but I'm loving it and I'm loving this new side of Poppy. I'm just like, I'm eating it up. I'm eating it up and we haven't even gotten to the juicy parts yet. Also finished Pumpkin Spice Cafe and the Cinnamon Bun Bookstore. I finished both. So neither of those will be in the readathon. Sorry about it. I just, I had to. I needed to read it. I needed something quick and short and easy as an audiobook on the way to Kernersville. And now thinking about it, I probably could have just done like the Kiss Curse since that didn't make the readathon list, but I didn't. I didn't. So, oh well. I will figure out something else to read in place of those. So this is my stack though. Isn't that fucking crazy? With some incredible books. Some I've never heard of and some I've been like pining after especially icebreaker been pining after thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed just this little mini book shopping haul um the next video is the readathon so i hope you're ready i'm not i'm so not ready but i am mentally not prepared but physically i'm ready everything's good to go we're gonna be right here i hope you're ready and excited hope we have a good time fingers crossed uh, but that's about it thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one. Oh my god i almost forgot do you see my new, my new bear? I want a bear at the state fair with the little water gun game. Oh my God. No, don't do that. Where you like aim, if you've never been to a state fair, I don't know how to explain it to you, but it's a little water gun that you aim at a little bullet, bullseye, not a bullet, a bullseye. And I went up against like four other people and I won. So I got a new bear to go with my other bear. He's adorable and I love him and I'm obsessed with him. So thank you. Good night. <laughs>